guys welcome to my channel my name is Amanda if you are new here if you're not new welcome back thank you guys so much for clicking on this video so for this video I'm gonna be doing my weekly WW meal prep I'm gonna be sharing a breakfast lunch and dinner and I will be leaving the instructions and the recipe and the smart points for the blue plan which is the plan I am on for WW down in the description box below so please make sure to check the description that's where everything will be listed serving size and smart points all the good stuff that you need to know and also these recipes will be on my website which is also listed in the description box below if that's easier for you to read off of website check there they will be up there I'm gonna be sharing lots of good recipes with you guys so I hope you enjoy and if you do please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're not and let's just jump right in all right guys for this recipe all you'll need is some eggs any eggs of your choice some great value mild shredded cheddar cheese, fat free, a Hillshire Farm low sodium honey ham, and I'm also using this gigantic mini muffin tin I got from Walmart. <laughs> For the seasonings, I'm just doing salt, pepper, and minced onion, keeping it pretty simple. So in a bowl, I'm gonna be adding my six eggs to this bowl, my one half cup of the great value shredded cheddar cheese and my seasonings. And then I'm just gonna give that a really good whisk. Right, now that we're done whisking the eggs together I'm gonna set that to the side grab my big mini tin muffin tin I'm gonna spray that with Pam spray and then we're gonna add the honey ham now for the honey ham I did end up cutting it with kitchen scissors to make it smaller so I took one whole slice and cut it in half just so that it would fit a little bit better and then once this starts baking it does shrivel up and shrink quite a bit so it worked out perfect and these ended up making 20 ham egg and cheese bites and then I had a little bit left over of just the egg batter so I made five egg bites with no ham I am just now adding the one tablespoon I decided to do a tablespoon just so that it was easier to get the batter into the ham because the little mini muffin tin is so small so if you're using a mini muffin tin I recommend doing a tablespoon it helped a lot and if it does spill over a little bit that's okay no worries there it still turns out really good I'm adding some salt and pepper to the top and then we are going to just pop it into the oven and let it bake now they're done I just let them dry on this little rack that I got um, today actually I love this rack <laughs> and then we're going to just pop them into a container and store them in a plastic container I'm going to secure it with a tight lid and store it in the fridge all right next we're gonna be making gnocchi sheet bake this is so exciting <laughs> I'm gonna be using some Parmesan shredded cheese I'm using the Archer Farms mini potato gnocchis and then I'm gonna be using some vegetables for this I chose to do cherry tomatoes because I love cherry tomatoes a purple onion and a yellow pepper but you could opt out the yellow and do any color you prefer and I also am adding some garlic and then we're doing garlic powder salt minced onion lemon pepper dried parsley and those were red pepper chili flakes so quite a bit of seasonings but I love seasonings and it just makes everything taste good so now we're just gonna cut up all of our veggies I'm doing garlic um, cloves as a whole and then I'm doing sliced purple onion and sliced yellow pepper and then I'm leaving the cherry tomatoes whole I said that really weird but cherry tomatoes whole <laughs> um, that's just how I prefer to do it I like the cherry tomatoes um, all the juice and flavor to stay inside so now I'm just spraying the pan with Pam spray and adding the mini nokis which these are so good you guys I got these from Target they're amazing they're really small 
and they're just really good. I'm adding the veggies to the top and then I'm just going to sprinkle on the seasonings, add the garlic. I sprayed um, my veggies again with the Pam spray just because I wanted some olive oil on the top just for lots of flavor. And then we are going to add the shredded Parmesan cheese to the top and this cheese you guys, it turned out so good and it like hardens and kind of turns into like a Parmesan chip. It's just amazing. Me and Joey ate this after we made it and we were like so surprised how good it was. So we're going to just pop that into the oven and then look at it. it. Turned out so good. So yummy. I think you guys will love this. You definitely should make it. <laughs> so here I am just making my serving. So this is my lunch. So I'm only doing one cup and then I probably will have this with a side salad whether it's like lettuce or I do like a fun cucumber salad. Um, so I decided just to do one cup for a serving and that comes out to be five points. You could add pasta sauce on this if you'd like. You could definitely have some fun with it. And then I'm going to just pop the lid on and store it in the fridge. Now on for dinner. We're going to be making a white bean chicken chili soup. So I'm using three large chicken breasts, a can of reduced sodium chicken broth, some Pam spray I show you just because I like to use that for the liner of the crock pot, can of corn, can of cannellini beans, can of great northern beans, and fire roasted diced tomatoes and diced green chilies. We're also going to be adding Greek plain non-fat yogurt in there to make it creamy and some lime juice for a little punch and some ranch seasoning, super good, salt, pepper, and dried cilantro and garlic powder. So I pulled out my crock pot and I'm spraying it with Pam spray. And then to that, we're going to add the chicken breast. I did three pretty large chicken breasts. Just pop those right in. And then I'm going to add the seasonings to the top. And I call this my chicken chili soup. I like to put the soup in it because technically I add so much broth to soup, um, but still chili style. So I'm adding all of the cans. All the canned stuff and the seasoning into the crock pot and then I'm gonna be pouring 48 ounces of chicken broth <laughs> again just oh, I love liquid and like slurping the soup and the liquid up it's just so good that way and then we are going to place the lid on and cook it for a good six hours on high and then I'm going to pull the chicken breast out and shred it up I like to do shreds and some chunks in there as well, some like a little bit bigger pieces, and I just use my fork. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, shred it all up, and then we're going to pour it back into the crock pot and add a few more things now. So I really don't like to cook my Greek yogurt in the very beginning. I like to cook all the beans and the chicken and veggies first and then add my Greek yogurt. So now we're going to add the lime juice and three-fourths cups of non-fat Greek yogurt to make it nice and creamy. And I like to use the Greek yogurt because one, I can't really taste it, but it does give it a nice creamy thickness to it. And it's a lot less points and calories. So I love to use Greek yogurt for this. So just pour that right in there and then you're gonna give it a good mix place the lid back on and I cook it for an additional two hours just because I really like it super cooked. Ooh, now it is done. I'm just giving it a little toss and a close up so you guys can see how good it looks and why you should make it. <laughs> and then I am going to portion it out so how I portion it out is just kind of eyeball how much I want. And I decided to do one and one third cup per serving. And then you just enter that into the recipe builder and you put how many servings it makes and then it creates the points. So you can have one and one third cup for zero or two cups for one smart point, which I think is great. And I like to add lots of toppings to mine because it's so low in points. I'll add more cheese, sour cream. I even sometimes do real bacon pieces. Um, that's like a salad topping. They're really good. Or some avocado and it's delicious. <laughs> so I'm just going to place the lids on top now and store it in the fridge and we're all done for meal prep. 
Alright guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed these recipes and tried them out yourself. And just got some overall food inspiration for the WW program or whatever program or way you are losing weight. I hope that these recipes were helpful and inspired you to get in the kitchen and cook and meal prep because for sure meal prep is the number one way for me to kind of stay on track um, and have all that food prepared for me, ready to heat up, easy for me to just get it done one day and then I'm good for the rest of the week. So meal prep is so important and I hope that this was helpful. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.